Wow, what a tough spot to fill up after Sunil and Basika. Uh, but I do get the idea that they talked about roti and kapra. And her marketer ka makan to content se chalta hai. So nice story to weave it uh, as a curation to the session. Um, thank you so much uh, to the team E4M for inviting us and um, letting us present to each one of you what we are building at Pepper Content. I think to just answer in one short sentence, we are an AI-powered content marketing stack that helps all marketers optimize their content operations and bring ROI to their content efforts. Uh, but let me just throw in a question to each one of you before we get into the session. And I want to make this as interactive and conversational as possible, rather than just like a one-way presentation that's happening. In the past few months, how many of you have started to hear the word SEO quite often? Like I think we used to talk about performance marketing very heavily. We used to talk about, um, let's say, video campaigns, some partnerships, conferences and events, and so many other things. But lately, lately in the past few months, SEO has been the term that has been talked a lot in the marketing meetings. Is this the case with you folks as well? Just like show raise of hands. Uh, OK, makes sense. So I think you are at the right spot then today. And it's, it's not by you know, choice or something like that, but it has become the necessity because the macro conditions and environments have changed, and we're not in the state where you know, we could just spend all our budget on performance marketing or things like that. So I think the macro uh, economics is not in our favor, and that's why content or SEO sort of seems like the right choice. But what if this also doesn't work? Um, what is something that can give you like a long-term ROI while you know, you're not spending too much um, on like the entire marketing, marketing budget doesn't just go into one channel, but what exactly you can leverage uh, is content. We're going to talk about some of these things and how you can leverage that and just make the most of it. Um, but this is a pro popular quote. I think a lot of marketers must have heard this, that when nothing is working, content is working for you. Uh, and I think we truly believe about that at Pepper Content. Um, another question to the audience. Do you guys know this person? If no, this is going to look like a freelance model from stock footage that I've got. Uh, but any guesses, do you guys know who this person is? He's literally changing the face of the internet and the marketing space these days. OK, let me throw in a hint. Do you know this person? OK. If you all don't have context to this, this might look like two, two friends, and this is like a stock image. But this is Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, uh, who's literally changed the builder of ChatGPT, uh, and Dolly, and multiple other such AI tools. And this is Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. And Microsoft recently invested billions of dollars in OpenAI. Um, and this is probably one of the biggest, let's say, incident or let's say situation that has come up in the marketing space in the past few decades uh, because this is literally going to change how marketing teams function and what kind of work that they do and what kind of teams that they build and stuff like that. Um, in fact, just in the last 48 hours, uh, the Pepper Content team was in Las Vegas at Adobe Summit and Adobe announced Firefly, which is revolutionary uh, compared to seeing what Adobe as a corporate company looks like. But they are also venturing into uh, OpenAI. And you can literally just type in a text, and a graphic design will pop up uh, immediately. Something similar was also announced by Canva. I think Canva Create happened just yesterday. Uh, and they also announced a Canva AI-powered workflow for all their designs. So the innovations that are happening in this space, literally, this is last 48 hours. You can just go out there, Google, and you'll, you'll see that some of the most magical and the biggest of companies have announced these AI tools. Um, but I don't think the future is just about these tools. The future is probably a human plus AI model. We cannot really imagine that AI will completely take over humans and we'll be seeing some tools sitting in this room rather than humans out there in the next five years or 10 years. But it's more like a collaborative and a complementary skill set that a human and AI can both work together. Um, how this can happen, let me take a step back and just for this room, we can just go back and see what really the content marketing process is like. Uh, we do our research, OK, what keywords are we targeting? We get into the ideation and the planning phase. We'll get into the content creation and the optimization bit. You will have a copywriter, content writer. You might have an agency that you might outsource your design or the content writing work. 
or maybe you might even do in-house or you might use some tools. Um, then you go for distribution. Do you want to share this on WordPress? Are you going to put this on LinkedIn? Uh, which different channels are going to be used for? Or if you're creating a video, will this go out on YouTube or maybe even on your website? And finally, once all of this is uploaded, there have been decent time, you're going to evaluate what's the ROI of all these things. So in, in a nutshell, this is what a content operation really looks like at any organization, irrespective of the scale. It might be just a 10-member team or a 100-member marketing team as well. Um, but the operation and workflow might be pretty similar to this. Now, the number of tools that a marketing team uses just for these five operations is hundreds and hundreds. And also, of course, the human resources that are involved. And a lot of time, you're just migrating from one tool to a different tool. And what also happens is you have to do the product adoption. You have to also just keep changing the different tools. And you have to get comfortable. New team members are going to come. Some team members might leave the org. And all of those changes keep going on. And you're just trying to adapt and get comfortable with these marketing tools, while, of course, doing all the creative heavy lifting uh, yourself as a marketer. So how can this really be solved? Imagine one platform and just one product, where you're doing all the ideation, research, the content creation, the distribution, and even the analysis and the ROI part of it. I understand this, this might look like, OK, this is not really possible. This looks like a giant product um, and something that's very like imaginative. But it's not. This is like reality. For the past six years, at Pepper Content, we have been working with more than 3,000 organizations and all the CMOs and head of marketing. And we've been building this for the last six years. Um, and today, we work with some of the biggest of organizations like Adani, Axis Bank, um, Aditya Birla Group, and multiple others to help them with their content operations and workflow. Um, but do we really need this? I mean, we've been building this for the six years. It's, it's really possible that probably we're just excited or passionate about this. We have raised some $20 million of funding from some of the best VCs out there in the world. But do we really need this? Is it, is it a big enough problem to solve for a marketer out there in India or across the globe? Let's just try to find that out. One of the biggest problems for any marketer or a head of content or head of marketing or a CMO would be how can you do very qualitative work and create that at scale? It's not just about, OK, in a week's time, a 10-member team is going to write one blog. How can you probably, if you have an app launch coming up in the next quarter, can you scale your SEO and your content and your traffic to, let's say, 1 million? The, imagine the amount of content and blogs you, you might have to write for that. It might go up to 1,000. How do you maintain that quality and your tonality of the brand and your brand voice when you're doing content at such massive scale? The second, the second problem that might be there when you're doing content at scale is optimizing these workflow. The amount of WhatsApp messages, Slack messages, Google Docs, Work Docs, emails, uh, it's just too many of these tools and products that you have to transfer, get approvals. Imagine all of that can that be combined under one platform. The next problem definitely is integrating all of these things with other tools. You might have a Grammarly subscription, uh, or let's say a subscription like a SEMrush, or Pardot, or WebEngage, or any of these tools. But is it integrating with your content systems? Or are you still doing it on Google Docs, Word Docs, and you know, just sending it over emails? Um, and finally, uh, bringing the ROI, where exactly? I think every quarter, if you're doing that meeting with your CMO, you want to really explain them how are you bringing that impact. And the budget that has gone into uh, creating so much of content, how it's useful, and what results it's bringing for you. And this is probably the old chaotic way, as I was saying, that within a, even a 10-member team, you're just sending multiple messages, the docs, the emails, uh, the awareness, and the briefs that are spreading across. And you might have agency partners. Uh, it's just too much. But imagine all of it combined on one particular platform. The amount of time and effort it's going to save for a marketer, and of course, the money that you're going to save instead of spending on multiple SaaS tools, if one SaaS tool can itself do all of these things for you, how can it really bring that ROI and then efficiency and productivity for your content teams? Introducing the Peppers content marketing platform. We've already shared this with a lot of uh, CMOs from India as well as from the US, and we are entering into other markets as well. Uh, but let's try to see in short glimpse what what this platform really looks like. Um, all your keyword research, let's say if you're targeting, if you're in a FinTech, if you're in EdTech, or any other industry, 
what necessary keywords or targeting that you want to do for your ICP. All of it can happen in one particular platform, and you can find that research and the keywords within this platform itself. Uh, there's a very popular joke, and I'm going to share that towards the end of the presentation because I want to end this on a lighter note, um, which is about if you are going there on the second or the third page, it's really of no use. Uh, how do you really rank on the first page? You get that traffic for you and then get that inbound leads and see that convergence. I think it's really, really important, especially for an enterprise account or you know, organization, mid-market uh, account as well. Um, at the same time, creating quality content. Of course, an AI tool right now, like a GPT-3 or GPT-4, cannot really understand the personalization or the storytelling aspect of your brand. In case that happens, that's why we are a human plus AI kind of model. We have 100,000 freelancers on our platform who can help you write that content while using an AI tool as well. We have our own AI tool called Pepper Type, uh, which is like, let's say, a chat GPT that was built by us two years ago. So it's not something that we have just riding on the waves, uh, but we have been building that. We have almost 200K subscribers from across 130 countries. So that AI plus human model exists within this platform. Anytime if you feel like you want to create a video campaign for your brand and the next launch that's happening, uh, you want a human to write that script for it rather than just um, an AI tool to do that, you can use this human as well as an AI model. So I think that combination of a content marketing stack which helps with human plus AI is something that's in Pepper. And of course, the distribution. I think a lot of time you're copy pasting that content from your Google Docs or your Word document to your WordPress or Shopify or any of these other platforms. That integration already exists within the platform and you can immediately even just put it out on your LinkedIn. Um, imagine you are creating a Twitter thread, and that can just be written by a freelancer or by the Pepper Type AI tool. And from here itself, you connect your Twitter account or your WordPress account, and you know that's uploaded over there. Uh, you don't have to navigate between multiple tools and websites and platforms. A marketer can have just one tab open in their Google Chrome. I think I have that uh, you know, uh, OCD that I want to close all the tabs that are there. So I think this can really sell, help solve uh, that problem for all marketers out there. Um, and finally, seeing what, how this content has performed across the web. It could, it could be on your website, it could be on your social media platforms, it could even be on YouTube. Imagine a freelancer, freelance video creator, creating that video for your brand, and then that gets uploaded on your YouTube channel automatically through the same platform itself. The amount of time and efficiency it's going to bring to your organization, it's massive. Um, and just to finally summarize, because I'm nearing my time, um, what really this entire platform can do for you is all your research, ideation, and planning. The content creation phase as well, along with, let's say, a human plus AI model. The distribution aspect of it, you can immediately share that content right from, let's say, this platform to a WordPress or a social media platform. And the last bit, which I think all the CMOs and head of marketing love, is se kitna dhanda laya. What's really the ROI that you have brought from the money that you have spent on this video or this content or the thousands of blogs that you have written? Um, so I think that's what Pepper Content as an AI content marketing stack can really offer to all the CMOs and head of marketing and marketing teams out there. Um, in case you all want to, you know, this sounds exciting for you, you all want to get a demo, you want to just interact with us and get to know more about this platform. We have a booth outside. Please feel free to just reach out to us. I'm here throughout the day. Uh, would love to know what problems you guys go through with your content requirements and any other challenges that you might face in your marketing team. And finally, the time for that meme uh, and that humor that I wanted to bring towards the end. Uh, I don't know if you all know about this very popular saying that the best place to hide a dead body is on the second page of Google search results. Uh, so especially if you don't want your content or your videos and your tra traffic to be exploring the third, fourth, fifth page, and you want to land on the first page of Google, I think we could be like great partners for you folks to handle that. Uh, that's it, that's my time, and this is how you can bring content ROI with and beyond generative AI. Thank you so much. Uh, it was lovely to speak here.